watch as I show you what color can do. Hi everybody, welcome. My name is Soraya. If you've been watching my videos lately, you know that I've been loving adding color. And this is another example. It's a very monochromatic painting and I decided that it would do much better by adding color. And here it is. I love the way it looks now. I did change up the composition a little bit. I felt it needed it, but I think it works so much better. I've got commentary throughout the video to help you achieve this as well. So keep watching. So I start off by adding my cadmium yellow deep hue, it's Liquitex, and you might think that might be a bit strange, uh, being that if you add yellow on blue, it makes green, but my intention was to layer colors, so um, it, it gives a lot of good depth that way. I sing next. Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mount Mama, take me not sure why I decided to sing a song about country roads when I'm painting about the ocean, but I love that song by John Denver, so I said, why not? <laughs> You will notice throughout the video that I am painting in real time. Uh, that is to say that um, this is the speed at which I paint in real life. Um, I have cut out and uh, edited the video, but uh, most of the time you, can, you will see me painting in real time. And um, just very few times I decided to speed it up. I wanted to show you uh, right here, I speed up exactly how I paint. So you can see here that I add the red on top of that yellow that I had already painted. So the layering begins with the various colors and this is just a crimson color. adding the various colors I'm using a matte medium and I've shown it in other videos as well and I'll leave a link to it in the description area but it makes the paint translucent and that is how I can paint color on top of color You can see that there is some glare and that is because the painting had already been varnished. I tried my best to uh, move the painting around so it didn't get that glare for you, but uh, unfortunately that's just the way it was. Now I have painted over a varnish painting before. It works out perfectly. You just re-varnish it at the end and it looks great. So I decided that this dark area really should uh, be brought out as rocks and I am working towards that, bringing in color, kind of loosely putting it on and uh, they turned out great. I find with abstract it is best to be as loose as possible well, you get the best results that way. As I was painting this line, I got it in my head that perhaps there should be something more there. And you'll see that I do add a lot more to this section further into the video. This 
is another area where I thought uh, it could benefit to be a rock. So I do love painting the abstract, but I like having that kind of realistic item in there. That's something that is a little bit more real. You can see my jug of flow troll in the background there um, and I should have cleaned up but I did not use any in this painting. It was strictly matte medium and paint. For me, I find it very appealing when there is a lot of contrast and I always strive for that in a painting. It's very dramatic, love that. I like to add a block of color in an area and then just wipe it off uh, to get it to the way I want it to look and it's just an easy thing to do it's paper towel and it basically makes it as a, a stain look to it so you can see that the color underneath is still there and some of it has been wiped off and I think it looks wonderful that way Don't be afraid to experiment with color. It is just paint. You could always change it up. When I am painting, I always look for balance with my colors. And since I had already added that azo orange in the other section, I added it to this section as well and various other places. So you can see that these are really looking a lot more like rocks and I decided to bring in that orange, the azo orange, to these rocks as a highlight and it ties it all in. Don't be afraid to experiment. It's what art is all about. I find that it is very important to add detail to a painting just to give it more interest. There's a lot of uh, beautiful details, but uh, I think uh, certain sections uh, do better with a little bit more detail and that's what I'm working on here. The detail you add as an artist really is determined by your eye and what works, what works in your eye. So what I add may not be exactly what you might add, uh, but um, it is based on what the artist prefers. I think sometimes artists get caught up in trying to make a painting look so perfect and uh, unless you're painting a hyper realistic uh, artwork, it really isn't necessary. Be loose. Enjoy the process. Enjoy what you are creating. As I'm working with my brush, I am adding just a very light touch and kind of letting my hand be very loose over the canvas so that it creates these kind of realistic uh, areas where the water might have some movement to it. So I decided that these rocks would do well with having some of that water spill through the middle and uh, this is what I'm starting to work on here just adding the beginning of the details. I wanted to thank you for your lovely comments. I read each and every one, and I'm so appreciative for each uh, comment. Thank you so much for your support and kindness. So this is another example where my hand is very loose and I've got just a little bit of paint on the brush and kind of letting it go all over the canvas. And you see all the little fine detail appear. By the way, I am using a filbert brush, just in case you wanted to know. I 
have lots of information in the description area. Make sure to click on it to check it out. I do sell my original artwork as well as prints. Check out my description area for more information. By adding these splash details around that rock, it really grounds that rock into the water and that's a really good detail to have. If you're enjoying this video, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, share and if you're new, please subscribe. So the forefront where my hand is kind of hiding it right now looked to me like a rock and I decided at this point that um, I was going to make this into a waterfall. I wanted it to be coming from somewhere we really couldn't see and um, I think it added a lot more detail and interest to this painting. I left that section just previous uh, so that you can hear that scratching of the sound of the brush on the canvas. It's one of my favorite sounds. Now I have edited this video down to just a few minutes because this took me a long time. Many, many hours uh, spent with the detail and adding color and thinking about the composition. And uh, it doesn't look like it, but it does take a lot of time. But it's all done out of love. So this painting started off as a fluid pour. It was just a few colors put together and uh, blown around and it created a beautiful pattern. And then later I decided to add the boat. And then uh, now, much later, I decided decided to add uh, more color. And that's the evolution of this painting. So you can see that this section looks different because I decided to change it up. And you can see here the difference. So that's the good thing about acrylic paint. Um, if you get it early enough, you can easily wipe it off. I do change my mind often when I'm painting. I was feeling that there was just a little bit too much going on and it was taking away from the painting. So that's why I decided that um, to change it up and wipe it off. I always use titanium white and it could be Liquitex Basics or Amsterdam or Pebio Studio or uh, Artist Loft, but it's always titanium white. So I wasn't too happy with this section and I got my sponge and uh, got a couple colors together. One is a paint gray and white and uh, just worked on it until I was happy. 
So I had been working on this section and I decided to add a base of blue and then it's so much easier when you add your white to give it that detail that you want. So I kept working on this section until I was happy with it and uh, adding that bit of white at the end made all the difference. Okay, and here it is outside. Um, that took me a long time to get it just right, but I am loving what I see now. It is different than what I started off. I decided to change up the composition, um, but I do love it now. I loved it before too, so it is just different. Um, so much more colorful. Love the orange and against the purpley blue color there. And so much beautiful detail still changed that up over here in the front and um, kind of made these into rocks which very much looked like rocks before anyway I've got up close images coming up so stay tuned for that and uh, click on the link you see now if you want to see more of my uh, fluid pores and embellishments if you're new to my channel please subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. I have named this painting Liberated. Join my Facebook group called Soraya Silvestri Artist Amazing Abstracts, Semi-Abstracts and Pores. The link is in the description area below.